quadruple rhythm summation gallop. When both the third heart sound and a fourth heart sound are present, with a normal heart rate, 60 to 100 heartbeats per minute, the four sound cadence of a quadruple rhythm may be heard. Listen to such a rhythm in which all four heart sounds are present. Now, listen to all four sounds taken at the apex of an elderly male patient with heart disease. At a rapid rate, S3 and S4 may occur simultaneously and are heard as a very loud diastolic sound, known as a summation gallop. The gallop sound falls midway between the second sound and the first sound of the next beat. Listen as a summation gallop is added in the presence of a rapid heart rate. Ejection sounds. Ejection sounds are high-frequency, clicky sounds occurring shortly after the first sound with the onset of ventricular ejection. They are produced by the opening of the semilunar valves, aortic or pulmonic, either when one of these valves is diseased or when ejection is rapid through a normal valve. They are heard best at the base and may be of either aortic or pulmonic origin. Ejection sounds of aortic origin often radiate widely and may be heard anywhere on a straight line from the base right to the apex. Aortic ejection sounds are most typically heard in patients with valvular aortic stenosis, but are occasionally heard in various other conditions, such as aortic insufficiency, coarctation of the aorta, or aneurysm of the ascending aorta. Ejection sounds of pulmonic origin are heard anywhere on a straight line from base left, where they are usually best heard, to the epigastrium. Pulmonic ejection sounds are typically heard in pulmonic stenosis, but may be encountered in pulmonary hypertension, atrial septal defects, ASD, or in conditions causing enlargement of the pulmonary artery. Both aortic and pulmonary ejection sounds are heard best with the diaphragm firmly pressed. Listen now to an ejection sound. The following example was taken from a patient with mild aortic stenosis. Mid-systolic, non-ejection clicks. Clicks are high-frequency sounds which occur in systole, either mid, early, or late. The click generally occurs at least 100 milliseconds after the first sound. The most common cause of the click is mitral valve prolapse. The clicks of mitral origin are best heard at the apex or toward the left lateral sternal border. The click will move closer to the first sound when volume to the ventricle is reduced, as occurs in standing or the Valsalva maneuver. 
When ventricular volume is increased, as in squatting or bradycardia, the click will move farther from S1. Listen now as a click is introduced during systole and then withdrawn. The next example is that of a normal 20-year-old female with a typical mid-systolic click. <laughs> 